What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Payne. Uh, listen, this is going to be a serious one. Um, so my boy, Marky Mark, who I have had a great relationship with, and I, and I owe quite a bit to, if you guys don't know this, Mark was actually one of the main reasons why I got back to content creating, because he actually encouraged me to do it, has now taken a step back because of all the hate. So I'm going to do a react video to his. I'm going to put myself on the other side here, just so you guys uh, a little different. Um, so first off, I just want to point out a few things. So my narrative, guys, about not spending is about addiction, right? It's about addiction, and it's it's strictly about addiction. It's not about for people not to spend at all, because if the case that's the case, the game doesn't exist, right? I have an addiction. I stop spending. It's my own battle with my own demons. I'm trying to help people with addictions. There are a lot of people out there that don't have addictions and just want to spend on the game, and that's up to them, and I don't want my name to be put into every category of not spending because that's not what i'm here for if people don't spend the game doesn't live we don't get to play and enjoy the game right lights off essentially and my boy mark here has just returned to the game and listen mark has a great job i know what mark does for a living mark does not have any kids does not have a wife he's got a girlfriend he's got his own life he used to spend money on cars like it was water and that's his prerogative right I don't want people sitting here and ridiculing Mark. And it pisses me off because Hazik made a follow-up video to it and he broke down the comments perfectly. Perfectly. And my name was thrown into that comment. As much as I love my community, guys, the last thing I want you guys to do is use my name to belittle other people's decisions. Nobody needs to come to me for therapy. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a licensed therapist. I'm a guy with morals who has gone through a shitload of things in life and is just giving you guys advice. It's advice. You take it and you, or you don't. But you don't plaster it on other people's life. You don't put it on other people and tell them, look what Payne's doing. Follow his lead. Mark is not me. Hayes is not me. Scion is not me. Pika is not me. None of these guys are going to be like me. That's what makes us different. That's why it's so important to have multiple content creators with different content for you guys to view and Mark is exactly that. Now, this video here is not the first one I woke up to. I actually woke up to Hazing's video, and I was going to do a reaction to him. And Hayes said, hey, you know, why don't you react to Mark's instead because it was his. And I had no idea Mark even put this out because I was sleeping. And I come here, and I see this uh, to take a step back from all the hate. Now, listen. Mark is new to the gaming industry when it comes down to content creating. Hayes and I have been around for a very long time. Like I said, I love you guys. You guys are the blood of our channels. You guys are the the blood of this game. The community is everything. But the one thing, guys, you guys need to stop doing is, is attacking other content creators for their decisions. Like, it's really no reason. So I'm going to watch this and I'm going to react to it because I want to talk to Mark in person after this and kind of hopefully straighten things out. Um, but guys, I, do, I really don't like that my name is being thrown around like that. Like, listen, it's your it's your choice. It's, it's a free country, and I and I love that you guys are using me as a positive example. But you guys are throwing it in the negative way, right? Remember, I'm I'm about addiction problems, not about a man making good money, recouping it through content or his own lifestyle. I've talked to Mark about this. Mark and I have had straight up conversations. When he got Virgil, uh, I said, "Yo, bro, was that a good decision?" He said, "Yeah, absolutely, man. I've got the money. Don't worry about it." Yo, I said, "You're an adult. Do what you got to do, bro. Do you." I look out for my friends the same way Hayes mentioned. He looks out for his friends. I talked to Mark about it in Discord. Mark simply said, yo, I got this. Don't worry about it. I said, all right, all right bro, you're an adult. Do what you got to do. You know, and I and we just, we, that's it. That's all it takes. It's just, you make sure the person's okay. It's like when a friend is driving and drinking, right? You want to make sure the person's sober. You can usually tell when somebody is not sober, even if they're saying they're all right. Mark is definitely all right. So guys, please just be more co conscientious of someone else's feelings. All right, enough of my talk. Let's talk. Let's, let's listen to Mark. I'm not going to listen to the whole video uh, because it's 23 three minutes long, but I will get to the main points. Welcome back to another video. But this is actually going to be a very important video. So I really hope that you guys can stick around listen to what i have to say um as you can see from the title this is probably just gonna be an explanation video um this is mainly just explaining how my lifestyle is for you guys to probably get an understanding of what it is so i know i don't have to do this there's really no point to do this um i want to stop them there 
if you guys can't hear it, I'm sorry. It's Mark's Mark's YouTube volume is very low. Um, but essentially, he's trying to explain his lifestyle to everybody. When he says he doesn't have to do this, and he's right, he doesn't have to do this. But you you know, when you back somebody into a corner, like I have been backed into a corner as many times with negative comments, Reddit comments, etc. You feel like you have to defend yourself because you're a, we are a, we are all humans, right? And as humans, it's something that we should aspire not to cause other humans harm. Like it's 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 a it's a normal thing, guys. Like if Mark has decisions to to do this, again, he's an adult. If if he was a child, if he was a 13-year-old doing this, I would applaud you guys for for, you know, for ragging him on it. But he's a he's a 30 plus, 25 plus, you know, old man. Like anyways, let's get, let's keep going. But I'm just going to tell you guys that I might take a break. The reason why is just because this game, I love this game. I'm not taking a break from the game. I'm just going to take a break from uploading content. Um, I just feel like a lot of people are so negative so fast. And I never understand why. And I just want to you know, explain myself, where I started off as. Um, this channel started off as a car channel. It it started off as me showing off my cars, thousands of dollars of cars, not to like, you know, flex, oh, I have this car, I have you don't, blah, blah, blah. Um, when this game came around, Street Fighter Duel, back in February, the end of February, beginning of March, um, my first ever video was me already spending on this game right um now this game is never free to play friendly i mean in some cases it is some cases it's pay to win there's so many drastics of people say don't spend in this game oh don't even play this game for me personally like as much as there's so many negative stuff in this game i still honestly genuinely deep down and in, inside enjoy the game because i just have fun playing the game right but you guys see it as um either like something so negative and toxic like an addiction or you know like oh he just keeps spinning on this game um we don't need to compare finances so i want to stop there real quick okay so he makes an extremely valid point there okay the negativity around this game has been there from day one. We all know the negativity behind it. And the problem is, I think it's being directed to the wrong people. It's being directed to the content creators. And and I think another issue to, to point out is the negativity that comes in around spending are the same people who don't spend, but yet still play the game. You have to remember, there are people who spend to keep the lights on for you guys. I said this in the beginning of the video. And he's right. There should be no reason to compare finances. I Again, I talk about the rhetoric of don't spend if you have an addiction. An addiction guys that's the key word i had an addiction i squashed the addiction my goal in every video when i say don't spend and i make this i made the phrase very clear if you cannot afford to right and mark can't afford it so i feel bad for the guy right so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward a little Nor bit or i need a freaking person to tell me i can't spend my own money on how to spend it like i have these cars and i'm spending a couple hundred dollars in this game why should that trigger you so much when you are free to play you don't have this money you don't have these cars like i'm not here to brag it like that but you guys shouldn't talk to me like i don't know what i'm doing because if i'm if i didn't know what i was doing i wouldn't have been able to afford all of this right so i just wanna just shed that topic into some light for, to some people here that has been so negative that's also why i kind of just like it doesn't make me quit the game it just makes me quit covering the game right and honestly in the very beginning i had fun about it like i had so many ideas i had so many um things that i wanted to do um but you know as months go on this game did die and 100%, you know, there's still people coming in from collabs. I get it. But the main people that started in the very beginning are all gone, right? So they moved on to a new game, a different game. Um, that's what I should be doing, moving from a different game, right? But they're going to be like, well, he spent so much money in this game. It's just going to be a waste. Um, like, people throw that word waste there so fast. 
but like when you're playing these games when you enjoy these type of games you don't see it as a waste honestly you don't you really don't because it's like the game's providing you something that's gonna help you progress into the game a game that you log in every day to play but how you guys portray it that everyone has to be free to play and i feel like in a way like pain like trust me like i'm good friends with pain pain if you're watching this there's no disrespect to you um but all of your viewers of course watch either my content or his content but for me i cannot make any content without people saying oh you're a whale or oh like oh my god like you spent so much money in this game why oh this guy's an addict or i remember there was even at a time there was a guy that told pain oh you should coach or teach mark don't spend this much money in this game i'm like dude like i know what i'm doing like it's not even an, an addiction like i if if i knew if i was addicted to spending so much money in this game like i wouldn't have all the cars that i have this is literally just the play money for me to enjoy this game and yeah so this is exactly what i'm talking about right guys so this is not the first time mark's got that comment um and i had to talk to mark about this uh, in, in private chat because he DM me being like, yo, look at this crazy comment. I, and I laugh with him. I said, people are just, people are going to do this, unfortunately, right? Because here's the thing. Um, I I did the whole don't spend thing for a reason. And Hayes made a, made a point. I spent more than him and Mark combined. I have. It's, it's, it's a fact. I've spent 13 grand on this game. That's an obscene amount of money, all right? These guys are nowhere near that amount. I mean, Mark may have spent a few thousand, Hayes may have spent a few thousand, but $13,000, guys, is stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid money. So I spent that. I recouped it. Great for me, right? Hey, that, that's... If you don't know anything about me, the, the one thing I do want you to know is I'm a hard-working man. When I make mistakes, I own up to my mistakes, and I'm always the first one to tell people, yeah, I did this I did this wrong. You guys know this about me by now, I've, you know? But when people are taking my morals and my role model, because I want to be a role model. That's my job. Uh, to me, I'm, I, I, have, I have kids. I've, I went through a war. I've seen people die, get blown up. I've seen people get shot in real life. My life's practically a fucking movie. I know what death, what struggle, what addiction looks like because I've been around it my whole life. I know a lot of you have gone through the same thing. Maybe not to that extremity. Maybe some even more. But Mark is not in that boat. Right? I'm not saying that he didn't go through a hard life or anything, but what I'm saying is he doesn't have an addiction to himself. To him, if he doesn't want to admit something because he doesn't have it, then he doesn't have it, guys. And if he does, that's his own problem. I don't need you guys to tell Mark, go to seek help from pain. I'm not his therapist. I'm his friend. right? And like I said, if it was a more serious situation, if Mark had a drug addiction or Mark was like, like I said, dr drinking and driving, or we even had a physical connection somehow where we're close to each other and I can go over to his house and talk to him. It'd be a different story. Mark lives in the States. I live in Canada. We have met through content creating. We are affiliates. We are friends from a content creator perspective, but I don't know Mark's real life. Neither do you. I put my life on a, on a platter for you guys to, to absorb. Eat, eat my life. Enjoy it. I, I'm, open. I'm, I'm open about everything, right? You guys know, a lot of you know a lot about me right now because I, I'm willing to share that. But Mark's not like that, right? Mark doesn't need to share his life like that. He doesn't want to share his life as that. He only wants to do is make content for you guys in a different way. So don't, if you like my content, I, I'm happy, guys. It's the purpose of me making content, for you guys to enjoy it, to absorb it, to, to, to use it. But Mark's not that content creator, right? Mark is a different content creator. And, and having a different content creator is a good thing. I don't want to be a monopoly in this game. Nobody wants to be a monopoly in this game because then you lose the ability to, to look at your peers and learn from that, right? So anyways, let's keep going. Just because you guys aren't in that same position as I am, shouldn't give you the right to just talk to me like that. And I find that hella disrespectful. You know what I mean? Um, and it kind of just sucks because it's like, you know, um, I never thought that I could make it this big in YouTube, almost 4,000 subscribers. It might be a little number for you guys, but it is to me because I wouldn't even thought a thousand people would be subscribed to me, but now 4,000 or close to 4,000, that's really crazy. So all the people that subscribe to me, you know, shout out to you guys. Thank you for always sticking through me from switching either games or switching content because I was a car YouTuber from you, to, from you watching me 
posting videos from my car to you watching me just play video games, especially games that I like to play. Hey, why not? Right. But I feel like now with how toxic you guys are, especially the ones that's been commenting lately on my videos, like I can't just upload a video without you guys saying, oh, your credibility is gone, Mark. Like for what? Like, I'm not trying to be like a pain blade. I'm not trying to be like hazing or anything. I'm just trying to play the game the way I want to play the game. And then if you guys are going to continue to judge me for that, then don't even watch it. Yeah, so and, and this is what I was getting at, right? Um, we need difference, guys. Like, I, it's great that you guys love hazing, love my co um, my content. Mark was doing really well in the beginning. Um and he does provide entertaining content. Now, listen, it's one thing if you don't like the content, we move on, right? Listen, the internet's the internet. We know how terrible it can be. Um, we know. I've had racial comments on my comment section. I leave it on there for people to view just because it's just crazy, right? I've had people make Reddit posts about me. Um, and it's, it hurt, it's hurtful. It really is. Like, Because at the end of the day, we're all human. No matter how old I am, no matter you know how mature I am, having a handful of people flock to your comment section and create negative thoughts when all you're trying to do is spread joy is is a hard thing to to do so i'm gonna stop here with mark's um because i think we get the point mark looks like he needs a break um mark i love you bro uh, i'm sorry that anything from my um message of not spending with addiction problems specifically has has go, gone over to yours and i apologize that people think you have an addiction it's it's not for us to judge. I never judge anybody when I talk about the addiction thing. I judge my, I judge myself. All I say is if you have an addiction, guys, please be more careful with your spending. But I never say this person has an addiction and they need to stop. I've never once done that, right? And I hope that's where you guys would lead by example as my community. Not just comment on everybody having an addiction, but instead note who has an addiction, right? And, and try to try to try to approach it in a more positive manner rather than ridiculing the person. It's like this. If someone has an alcohol addiction or somebody has a cocaine addiction or somebody has a, a drug addiction or a gambling addiction, do you ridicule the person if you know them? Or do you try to understand that it's a very sensitive topic and that when you come in aggressively, you're not doing anything positive. You're adding more stress. And stress is a trigger that makes that person do even more negative things, right? That's a common sense thing, guys. So please, going forward, be a little more mindful of what you say about other people. Now, I was going to do a react to Hayes. Um, I may or may not. I'll still see because Hayes does bring up a lot of good points. Uh, so I might actually do a follow-up video to this. But to mark the messages, bro, I apologize. I'm sorry if if anything... I said has made you go this route. I know I have not said anything negative about anybody, but it sucks to know that my message is being used as a negative connotation towards other content creators, which has never been the intent. And it sucks for me to have to apologize in multiple videos lately for people's actions, but just know I love you, buddy, and I hope you stick around. All right, guys, so we're gonna do part two here, and I'm gonna show you guys where this is all beginning. So where this whole thing started, uh, shout out to Hazing for, for making this video. Um, he's speaking from the heart, so please don't be offended. I, I clearly want to say this right now. Uh, actually, I'm going to put myself on this side now. Hold on one sec. Sorry, guys. Uh, they, they both, they're both on different sides <laughs> of, the, uh, of the content. So Hayes made a follow-up video here. Um, he's speaking from the heart. Please, 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 for the love of God, guys, do not jump onto Hazing's um, comment section and start bashing him for the things he's going to say about me. They're nothing bad. It's his, his opinion. Hayes and I have a great relationship. I'm talking to him right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, and I asked him permission to make a follow-up to his video as well because he's kind of giving you his perspective. Now, his is 20 minutes long as well, so I'm going to get to the to the meat and bones of things. So real quick, um, somebody here, Yassine, yeah, you know who you are. You're notorious in my own comment sections. You're notorious on Reddit. Uh, you comment on Hayes's all the time. Um, I have no bad blood between you and I. I know you have some some feelings about me personally. Your Reddit posts as Theory Hyuga are the ones that started the whole thing about me personally and my, my methods of on this game. But I think those have, have now stopped and we have a clear understanding of who each of us are. Uh, but you did make a uh, comment about Mark. And listen, the comment is up to you what you want to make. It is a negative comment towards Mark. Mark does come back saying, hey, um, so pretty much he said, oh man, here, let, me, let me let Hayes talk and then I will react to that, okay? 
a drug addict. My mum died because of being a drug addict. I'll, I'll agree. To... So I'm gonna go back here for a second. Um, what, check out, shout out to his. I'm gonna put his and Mark. Both videos are gonna be on the description section. Go look at the full thing if you want to know everything. This is about Hayes' addiction, his mom's addiction. Uh, it's a very, very unfortunate story. One that's worth listening to. So I highly recommend, guys, if you want to know more about Hazing, check it out. Um, I'm going to go to the parts where it's about Mark and, and that. Just because it's it's a 20-minute video, right? So um, the, the whole thing that everyone else got. I never, like, it just made me feel normal. That's the best way to describe it. And it wasn't until later on in life I got my medication. And I really have set him. Sorry, Hayes. Uh, I'm not. I'm not fast forwarding here because it's not important. It's very important what you're talking about. And again, I, I really recommend guys check out the full video on Hayes's channel. Uh, it's absolutely worth the watch. He's he's right in everything he says, and I agree with him completely. Hence why I want to do a reaction to this. But I want to get to the points of the comments because it is about Mark at the end of the day, and I want to make this about Mark, right? And about what what happened to him. Himself an entertainment budget, right? Where he's decided that you know what I've got enough disposable income that I'm going to set aside. 500 to a thousand dollars that I'm willing to spend on these games, movies, whatever, right? Everyone has got different lifestyles, everyone has got different budgets, everyone has got different needs, wants, desires, and allowances that they're willing to make to meet those needs, wants, and desires, right? For me, I might say to myself, Do you know what? I've got, I've got 200 pounds a month that I'm willing to spend on shite, whatever I want, whether it's money in a gacha game, whether it's pizzas, whether it's takeaways, whether it's going to the movies, whatever, right, that's my entertainment budget, I can do whatever I want with that, if someone's got a lot more money than me, their budget's going to be higher, who am I to judge what they do with that, who are you to judge what they do with that, that is up to them, right, and if they choose to spend it in a gacha game, so be it, doesn't mean they're addicted, I mean, they might be addicted, right? But who are we to say that? We don't know, right? So, first of all, I think it's a bit of a stretch to, to say that, right? And it is his money. So, real quick, uh, the comment that he's just making right now, we kind of fast forward the video, is Red Gamers. So, shout out to all the, all the community, right? I know what you guys are doing. I know you guys are trying to be positive and trying to help Mark out, which you think you're helping Mark, but it's it's actually coming off very negative. And so so what Hayes is doing right now is breaking down the first comment. Well, it's definitely his money, but no disrespect, Mark uh, does have a serious addiction. He stopped there and he's talking about the addiction aspect of things. And, and Hayes is absolutely right. We are never to judge someone's money spending. It's not our job to do that. I'm not his parent. I'm not... Hayes is not his parent. Mark can do what he wants. He's a grown-ass man. So Hayes is essentially talking about... Now, moving on to the next part. But you're setting a bad example to the community. Again, when Mark started making content for this community, the community was loving Mark for spending. They were loving seeing him summon. They were loving getting entertainment out of watching him getting shafted. Right? It was literally part of the appeal of his channel. It was what it was set up on. And so to that point, Hayes is absolutely right. Because when I first met Mark, the first thing he said is, I'm not trying to make content for free to play. Even though he eventually started that because I, I told him, maybe start an F2P series. It might be something worthwhile to show a different side of things. And, and Mark did. Mark was the first one to start that because uh, I hadn't been making content creating at the time. Before I even came back, I, I told Mark it would be a good series to start. And Mark listened and he did. And it actually helped him a lot with the growth of his channel. Uh, but Mark originally had told me, he's making content for whales. That was always his thing. So I just want to make sure everybody understands that Mark didn't just flip all of a sudden and change his mind. He just wanted to do both sides just like I, I kind of, like the same way I was doing it, right? So... Do you know what? To judge him for that now, when he was kind of essentially thrust into the populace or popularity or lexicon or whatever the fuck you call it, I think that's a bit poor because, again, it's his decision and he has never actually placed himself in the position of being someone who you should aspire to be like. Mark is not that type of creator. Mark is not the type of creator that's been like, guys look at me, I like to lead by example, follow me. Right? So honestly I don't feel like Mark is setting a bad example because he's never and, and and that's a very good point, right? Everyone makes content for different reasons. I make content for for people to better themselves plus through the game and through I'm trying to be a role model. I am. I am literally, that is that is my channel now. I want to be a role model. It's a gaming channel, but it's also a channel to be to, to aspire to be a better person. That's, that's, for me personally, that's my goal. 
That's never been Mark's goal. That's never been Hayes' goal. When, when somebody pisses Hayes off, he tells you to fuck off. When somebody pisses me off, I try to do my best to give people chances and talk through it. Because I feel like everybody deserves multiple chances, right? That's me as a person. That's not Mark. That's not Hayes. They handle things way, way differently. So he's absolutely right. Mark never aspires to be a role model. So setting a bad example by spending, it's not setting a bad example. He's doing what he does as a human being. He is his own person. He's doing it for himself and for you guys as entertainment. Never positioned themselves to be an example in the first place, okay? All you're doing is flexing your account. He does flex his account a little bit, actually. I'm not going to lie, he does flex his account a little bit. But do you know what? Again, that's part of what he's doing on his channel. Like, you could say that someone who's going, oh, look, I've got this free to play account. I've managed to do XYZ on my free to play account. Are they not flexing their progress? I mean, okay, yes, they haven't spent money to do it, but they are still saying, look at me, look at what I've done. That is flexing. Okay, people maybe see flexing as a negative, and it's not always like you can show off something because you're proud of it. You're not necessarily showing something off to rub it in people's faces. They're too. Yeah, and Hayes is absolutely right. Um, being proud of something and wanting to share that with the with people uh, has two different reactions at all times. Number one, people will be proud and they're happy about it. Or people will be jealous and they'll be mad about it, okay? Now, I'm not saying either here are happening, but a flex is not always a bad thing. When Arnold flexes his muscles, he's proud of it, right? And everybody's in awe because it's Arnold. But if some Joel Schmo in the gym was doing it, people would automatically hate, like, what is this guy doing? It's an easy example, right? Flexing your account isn't trying to say, like, look what I have, you don't have it, ha, ha, ha. Mark's never been that way. What Mark is saying, like, hey, look what I have, guys. I'm going to make content about this for you. That's always been his thing. Uh, and it's unfortunate that it's been taken into the wrong way. It, it's never a flex like that, guys. And again, I'm not shitting on uh, Red Gamer here because I know who you are. Um, and shout out to you. You've always been very positive in my in my section. And I know what you're trying to do here. It's not, you're not trying to be, uh, like, you're not hitting hitting down like you're not hitting Mark down while he's down, right? You're not doing that. You're just trying to say, "Hey, I think I see something," and unfortunately, it's being it's being worded in a way that looks like you're telling Mark what to do when clearly Mark knows what he's doing. And and I want to and, and it's a very dangerous thing, guys. Wording, and you guys know this from my videos, using the improper uh, or using certain verbiage or writing a, a, a text that could really really make one person happy can can literally do the opposite effect to somebody else right so someone might like someone like yasin will see this and be like yeah no i agree with this comment red gamer but someone like hayes and mark would be like this really hurts my feelings like you have to remember like if you're targeting somebody and you're purposely trying to hurt their feelings then i don't agree with that like you shouldn't be doing that nobody should be doing that there should be no reason for trolls to come on here and i'm like again i'm not saying it's a troll comment i know what you're trying to say to him but this is Mark's, this is his thing. This is what he does for his content. If you don't agree with it, personally, I would have just not said anything, right? Mark and I talk, like, if, and I said this in the, in the Mark's part, like, he and I had a discussion about this. Guys, I don't need you guys to be coming in and telling Mark he has an addiction, and especially the part, the part that comes up here, right? Two different things. I will say it's funny that wrote, he wrote Payblade, though, not Painblade. <laughs> I think I'm gonna laugh at that. However, both of them are still flexing, right? So we will judge someone for saying, oh, look how cool this is. I've got this unit, that unit, and that unit. But we won't judge someone for saying, oh, I've been able to beat this stage, that stage, and that stage, and I've not spent any money. I mean, both of, both of these things are the same. So to judge someone for one and not the other, why? Right? Anyway, you need, to seek, you need to seek help. Learn from Painblade. He no longer spends. Maybe that's the reason why your channel is slowly dying. Right. For a start, I'll, before I get to the first part of that statement, I'll get to the end. I mean, that is one of the most backhanded apologies I've ever seen in my life. Like, ugh, that's the reason why your channel is slowly dying. Blessings. Well, I mean, that's a bit of a prick statement, to be honest. Like, I don't really know if that's trying to wrap things up in cotton wool and make it seem nice or something, but to like say to the guy, you know what I mean? Oh, you spend money, that's why your channel's dying. But lessons. I mean, it's about an asshole comment to make. I mean, if you go back to the start, you need to learn. Yeah, and I agree. Uh, that's the blessings parts irrelevant. You're not being positive here. Like, why even write blessings? Like, I, like I think Hayes is right. He's trying to wrap it up with something cool to say 
Uh, but I don't, I don't think you need to write that. You, you, you're you trying to get a point across here that you think he has an addiction and he needs help. Like, that's don't put blessings at the end. And then don't say his channel's slowly dying. Like, the worst thing you can do to a content creator is tell them their channel's slowly dying. Like, literally, that's, like, the worst thing you can do because he's putting his heart heart and soul into every video he puts into he puts out and you're 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 letting him know that you think his channel is dead which is you know mark mark is smart he knows when his channel is suffering he doesn't need people to remind him of that so i I think that that comment was completely unnecessary learn to seek help from pain blade like you guys know i talk to pain blade Blade, if he gets upset at me saying this I, i really don't care because i'm speaking from the heart i'm saying what i want to say pain blade is not a fucking therapist he is not everyone's fucking therapist on twitter on on fucking youtube where we as content creators need to go to pain blade to seek help what like really honestly he's a i'm a grown ass man mark's a grown ass man pain's a grown ass man pain spent fucking 13 grand he spent more than any of us he spent more than me and mark combined and we have to go to pain blade for help what like pain decided to stop spending money in the game right fair play to him well done awesome he's managed to recoup that money by pumping out shit tons of content fair play to him that's that's great right fantastic pain knew he had an addiction problem just like i did if you go back and you watch before pain even started talking about addiction stuff i put out a video called my dangerous addiction where i went over issues i've had in the past i was pretty open about it i've never hidden away from it but at the same time i don't think i have the moral authority to tell people what they should or shouldn't do right which is why when i make videos i say to people look don't use me as an example i'm stupid i'll summon on a banner and i know i probably shouldn't summon on a banner but if i say to you look guys this probably isn't worth doing then if you want to listen to that advice that's entirely up to you but at the same time if you want to spend i'm not going to judge you for it right i'm totally not right whereas with pain he 100 percent bought into the i don't want to do this anymore don't want to spend anymore and the community received that quite well so I'm not saying it's fake or anything like that, but that's kind of almost become Payne's shtick now, so to speak, where he is the the free-to-play, I don't mean messiah, that sounds wrong. Yeah, so uh, let's let's talk about this a little bit. There's a lot to, uh, there's a lot in that comment, right? So Hayes is absolutely right. Uh, I've spent, and I've said this on Mark's part, I've spent more than both of them combined. I have a gotcha addiction. This is not my first stint at this, right? I've been doing this for 10 years and I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on gotchas like an absolute idiot, right? And luckily, because I have a great career and I I had made content for two years, I was able to recoup most of that back. But it's never intelligent. And at the same time, I've supported developers that shouldn't be supported, right? So for me, guys... He's right. It's not become my shtick. And I, and I know what Hayes is trying to say here, that I'm clinging on to this and that's become my thing. But it's it's not a shtick. So to me, and again, pl- please don't go to Hayes' channel and all of a sudden blast him for saying that. It's not, that's not why I'm doing this. It's not a shtick to me because it's an actual it's an actual problem I know people have. And I, and I want to address that problem. And I remind people because people need reminding. I promise you guys when I tell you this, and I can show you guys, I can show you guys receipts. Every single time I bring it up when a new character's out, there is a whale that's sitting there that's looking to press the button on his credit card to, to buy. And he's he's hesitant, or she is hesitant. And they see they see my message, they, they reply back to me being like, yo, bro, thank you so much for reminding me that this is not worth it. I, I'm spending my hard-earned money, my life savings on this. I've spent so much money already, I, I, and I feel like I have to, to keep doing this in order to keep up. That's not a way to live, right? So I do this because... I'm trying to set an example for those with addiction problems. Okay, so this is not for views. I don't do this for views because I know as a matter of fact, guys, the more I talk about this, the more it gets annoying to some people. And I could, I, I potentially lose viewers and I do. Every single time I bring out a video about not spending money, my viewership, not my viewership, sorry, my subs go down. Every time I lose a sub or two because some people just don't want to hear me talk about it. I, and I've said this before, I feel like LeBron James, and not, not the, again, I'm comparing myself to LeBron James, but the comment of shut up and dribble, right? Uh, if you guys know the comment, as somebody told him, hey, you're a basketball player, stop trying to be anything but a basketball player, just shut up and dribble. People tell me the same thing. You're a content creator, just shut up and make content about what we want to hear and don't tell us about your life story, what you feel. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Like, I am a grown-ass man with a lot of experience and I'm using my platform to do good. That's what I'm here for. It's not a shtick, it's a real thing. So 
I know what Hayes is trying to say. He's not being negative about it, but he is a little obviously pissed off that people are taking my positive message and spinning it into something negative and going into his channel and Mark's channel and using that as a weapon, which is why he's upset here. And I, I understand, totally get it. Right, but you know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like the free to play guru where like people go there for that type of thing now, you know, and, and it works for him. You know, it works for him. That's his content style and he doesn't want to spend anymore. People want to see that type of content. It makes it easier for him not to spend because that's what people want to see. Right, fantastic. But Mark doesn't need to go to pain for advice. Right? He doesn't. So you guys get it here, right? This is kind of the point. Like Mark has the same community. I have the same community. Hayes, we all share you guys pretty much across the board because we're some of the only content creators left. Um, I think there's Pika as well. And there's Rokog, sorry, Rokog and Pika as well. I, I've completely, I've, sorry, just because we're talking about Hayes and, and they, they exist as well, obviously. And, and you know, Sion sometimes and other, and other folks as well. But um, at the end of the day, guys, please, please, please just do me a favor. Just please use my message in a pot of positive tone. Like I'm, I'm trying to send out a positive message. So please, when you send it to other people as advice to them, let make them receive it in a positive way too. And and I'm sorry that, you know, I'm, again, I'm gonna apologize to Hayes as well. If my if my uh, stick, I'm gonna use the same word he used, uh, has turned around and caused you any pain, no pun intended, um, I apologize for that. Again, I'm, I don't need to apologize for all this. I'm, I'm a grown-ass man, and other, they are grown-ass men. They can handle it, but I feel like somewhat responsible for some of this happening. And I don't feel bad about it. Don't get me wrong. I don't feel bad because my message is clear. You have an addiction. Don't use your life savings to spend on gotchas. Use it for real-life money. It's more important. I'm going to stay stay with that all the time. But for people to turn around and, and use it as a weaponize it against uh, other content creators when they're doing their own thing, I don't I don't approve that. Anyways, guys, this is Pain. Uh, shout out to Hayes. Shout out to Mark. I'll be putting both their videos in the comment section. Please check out the whole things. It's worth the watch. It's uh, emotional. It's gritty. Um, it's not all about me. It's not about me at all, as a matter of fact. It's uh, Small parts are about me. Uh, but it is about Mark leaving, and I feel very sad for that. And it is about Hayes uh, defending Mark, and I agree with him. So uh, this is Pain. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.